Hello everyone. Today, we are diving into the dollar effect room, a powerful feature in Svelte 5 for managing side effects in your applications. The dollar effect room is a crucial part of Svelte 5's reactivity system. It allows us to run side effects when reactive values change, replacing many use cases for life cycle methods and some reactive statements from Svelte 4. What is dollar effect? Let's start by understanding what dollar effect does and why it's important. Dollar effect runs side effects when reactive values change. It replaces life cycle methods and some reactive statements from Svelte 4. It runs after the DAM has been updated. Dollar effect can return a cleanup function, which is useful for cleaning up resources. Now, let's look at a basic example of how to use dollar effect. In this example, we are using dollar effect to update a canvas whenever the size or color changes. Let's see this in action. As I adjust the slider, you'll see the square change size in real time. When I pick a different color, the square's color updates instantly. This demonstrates how dollar effect automatically runs when the reactive values size and color change, without us having to manually trigger updates. Dollar effect with cleanup. One powerful feature of dollar effect is the ability to return a cleanup function. This is particularly useful for setting up and tearing down resources like timers or event listeners. In this example, we have a counter that increases every second. Watch what happens when I click the slower button. You'll notice the count updates less frequently. Now, when I click faster, it updates more rapidly. Let's open the browser console. You can see logs for each count update. When the interval changes, you'll see interval cleared followed by new count updates at the new rate. This demonstrates how the cleanup function is called before the effect runs again with the new interval. $effect.pre for pre-update effects. Sometimes, we need to run effects before the DOM updates. For this, we use $effect.pre. Let's look at how $effect.pre works. In this example, we are using it to predict changes to our count before they appear in the DOM. Watch the console and the message on screen as I click these buttons. When I click Increment, you'll see the console log immediately, showing the new count but the old prev count. The message updates to say, count is about to increase, and then the count in the DOM updates. Similarly, when I click Decrement, the console log and message update first, predicting the decrease, before the DOM shows the new count. This demonstrates how $effect.pre runs before Svelte updates the DAM, allowing us to prepare for or react to changes before they're rendered. It's particularly useful for cases where you need to compare the incoming state with the current state or set up something based on an impending change. In Svelte 4 you have used before update and after update now deprecated in Svelte 5 and you can use $effect.pre in Svelte 5. Dollar effect dot root for non-tracked scopes. For advanced use cases, dollar effect dot root allows us to create a non-tracked scope that doesn't auto clean up. In this example, we have a count and an effect status. Let's see how dollar effect dot root works in practice. First, I'll click increment a few times. Notice that each time I click. The count increases and you see a log in the console showing the current count. This is our effect in action. Now, watch what happens when I click clean up. You'll see root effect cleaned up in the console and the effect status changes to no. If I click increment again, you'll notice the count still increases, but we don't see any more console logs. This is because our effect has been cleaned up and is no longer active. This demonstrates how $effect.root gives us manual control over when effects are cleaned up. We can start and stop effects independently of the component's life cycle. Use cases for $effect.root 
Now that we've seen how dollar effect dot root works, let's discuss some practical use cases where it can be particularly helpful. Long running effects. Dollar effect dot root is great for effects that need to persist across multiple component updates. This could be useful for things like continuous data polling or animation loops. Shared state management. You can use $effect.root to create a global state manager that lives outside the normal component lifecycle. This can be powerful for managing application-wide state. External resource management. When working with external resources like WebSockets or third-party libraries that require careful setup and teardown, $effect.root gives you the control you need to manage these resources effectively. Performance optimization. In complex applications, you might want to manually control when certain expensive computations or side effects run. $effect.root allows you to decouple these operations from the component lifecycle, potentially improving performance. Advanced routing in sparse, in single page applications, you could use $effect.root to set up effects that persist across route changes maintaining state or side effects that should continue regardless of the current route. These use cases demonstrate the power and flexibility of $effect.root. By giving you manual control over effect life cycles, it opens up new possibilities for managing complex state and side effects in your Svelte applications. Best Practices for Dollar Effect Let's go over some best practices when using dollar effect. Use it for side effects, not for updating state. Return a cleanup function when necessary. Use $effect.pre for pre-update effects. Be cautious with nested effects. Use $effect.root for manual control of effect life cycles. Key takeaways. To wrap up, here are the key points to remember about $effect. It manages side effects in Svelte 5. It replaces lifecycle methods and some reactive statements. It supports cleanup functions for better resource management. $effect.pre allows for pre-update effects. $effect.root creates non-tracked scopes for advanced use cases. That's it for our exploration of the $effect rune. We've seen how it can be used to manage various side effects in a clean and efficient way. In the next video, we'll dive into more advanced topics in Svelte 5. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.